Hi there, my name is Samuel, welcome back to another video where today we should be taking a look at the set 70640 SOG headquarters which does include 530 pieces of 5 minifigures and this does retail or did rather originally retail in 2018 to about 2019, about mid 2019 for £40, $40 and €40 which honestly it's really weird how that was all the same price, it definitely I feel like should have been £35 here in England but yeah this set, fun fact for everyone, this is actually one I did review when I had my second channel which was sort of a joint one with a friend but yeah this set honestly i think is a really neat set it's definitely a shame and it does show just how lego and ninjago kind of have gone downwards in some ways the fact that we've not had many structural builds and we've not had many like villains especially the villains like this is such an amazing like villains lair which is honestly really awesome so yeah let's take a look at the pretty awesome minifigures and we'll take a look at the building we'll kind of finish with the least interesting part so starting off with the minifigures let's take a look at snake and jaguar which of course is Zane in his disguise which honestly I think he's really awesome and the fact that they actually included his movie design I think works here he has the shoulder pads and yeah I think this is a really neat minifigure you can see he has his printing there which I think is really neat and looking on the back you can see he has the SOG logo and removing his face mask you can see he has the angry expression and then there you can see he has no other expression which is really cool so yeah I think this Zane minifigure honestly is really awesome and it's definitely a shame and a teaser that the fact that you see the white hair for less time than the silver the titanium and it took us much longer to get the titanium absolutely makes sense though i guess that was already in the sets up next we have ultraviolet which is a character who honestly has appeared so much since this season which is really cool and she apparently should be appearing next season as well which is really neat to see she's sort of that one villain who kind of just has an ep like a cameo appearance like every season nowadays which is really cool you can see that she has like all the detailing this is honestly i think one of the most detailed minifigures for ninjago especially since like the movie because like i've said and complained about a bit some of the detailing has really felt a bit lackluster in some areas but there you can see her face printing which is really cool she has a ponytail i believe is what it's called there and yeah i think that is a really awesome minifigure and you can see we have the half mask which that is i think the first time in purple so yeah that is another absolutely incredible minifigure taking a look at skip vicious who is one of the sog members included in the set honestly i just think it's so just sad how good these minifigures were compared to nowadays they generally don't make that many different like variations for army building characters but here we've got exclusive face prints or ones that are less common stuff like that it's just really um good to see and just disappointing to see that we don't have that now but there you can see the chain printing and all of that so yeah that's what he looks like honestly it looks really cool you have the shoulder plating which is really unique of course and the helmet and he has a couple of sets where he has the black crowbar on the right and on the left he's red katana so that is another pretty cool minifigure which then next up we have nails which again is another variation i just love how they all got their own like character personality like there's just so much more to it when they used to do like ninjago villains like that you can see he has the mask there honestly i think it looks really cool it has the red mohawk i just think it's just such a unique character like all of the sogs in general and what they generally do they'll switch around all the parts to make even more unique characters so that is really cool just the effort i feel like was much more there but there you can see that which honestly the contrast his face his, his white face paint doesn't really not match with his hair honestly quite funny which then next up we have the lloyd minifigure which you know i'm gonna say i don't really care for this is lloyd in his like new spinjitsu form for 2018 honestly it's not canon so i really don't have an interest for but there you can see it has the movie mask which it looks all right but to me this was this felt more like a movie minifigure than anything but there you can see he's printing which don't get me wrong i like the printing it's just the fact that this doesn't work like it honestly doesn't but there you can see we have some like surging power there you can see the gold and the leg printing which i believe the leg printing was the same throughout all of them but yeah there you can see the back printing so yeah that's the lloyd one though actually this was the first time sorry i forgot to say that we got the silver shurikens which i remember being really excited for and i was thinking we got zane's hair finally it's finally a shuriken so maybe we'll get zane's flat hair finally and literally three years later we finally get it wow how time flies eh so then finally i just wanted to show you a quick look at the only mask of hatred here which honestly looks really awesome i think the printing is just done absolutely just wonderfully i think it's done really well the printing quality is just really good so yeah it attaches to the biker helmet if you've not seen that so yeah that is what that looks like pretty awesome so it starts it off by taking a look at the whole structure as a whole you can tell that there are lots of hinges and lots of angles and that is because well i guess lego just wanted to make it more easily accessible which 
which I really like the fact that they've done that. So, yeah, you can see that we have all of these sections, which honestly, I think he looks really cool as a whole structure. But what I'm going to do, I just wanted to show it all together. Then we'll take a look at each section one by one so we can actually have a better look. But yeah, honestly, I think it's really neat the way it looks. Yeah, there's some gaps, but I think still it looks a really neat build. So yeah, now let's quickly take apart and have a look at all the sections. So it starts it off by taking a look at the part on the far left. You can see that there is a tire and this like... ATM cash machine, which honestly, I think that's a really neat idea that they added that thing. It's one of the only ones we've actually ever had in Ninjago. Wow, which is really weird to think about. You have this weird little tire element, which I believe the idea is, is that you put a character on here and you can sort of, well, spin them around, which I mean, is cool. I don't mind it, but I mean, it's kind of weird. Like, it makes them really high up as well. So that is just, I don't know, just another really weird feature. And the idea is that they should be able to move around, but I mean, it depends what surface you've got. But I mean, that's a pretty unique feature, I'd say that. You've got the tire, you've got the rockery and everything, which is really interesting to see just moving that around. You can see we have this room, which this, as you can tell that this actually does pop out. Of course, it's on a jumper plate, which I think is really neat. Again, I really like the fact that they've added that. You can see you have a little cell. And we just got this like greebling and all of that in the corner, which I just like how that's done. You've got the little subway map there for the tubes, which is really interesting. And you can see that there, they're moving on to the back. You can see that there. So yeah, that looks really nice. Just some rockery, some red, some gray, some dark tan. Some pretty cool features. So that is that area. And actually, sorry, I wanted to just show you, I forgot nearly, the little traffic light. So it looks like it does. Actually, yes, it does. If you remember, it is actually in like a subway and like a um, tube station is where it like their base is. So that is really cool. So that is what that looks like. So that is the first section also with a gel door. So then taking a look at the next section, you can see we have some hinges on the left and some like um, Technic axles on the right hand side. So starting off by taking a look down here, you can see we have a couple mule knees here, which I believe the idea is, is, is that there is a whole feature which I'll show you later on that should basically move all of this. I will show that later. I don't know if it, how well it will work, but there you can see that it says World Tour sold out 1985. Wait, Ninjago's actually got the dates, has it? That's interesting because Ninjago they never actually give us a time frame, so that means Ninjago would be in like so if that was. I don't know, is that meant to be ancient? That is a really good thought. What year? Well, I've never actually thought about that, but there you can see that it's on one of those massive wall panels. And yeah, it looks a pretty neat game. We have that, which I'll show you that in a minute. Then we have the SOG logo, which I really think that is really neat. I love that sticker. Absolutely incredible. It's just, look at Garmadon's face. It just looks really just scattered and evil. And there the, you have this, which is pretty cool, though. It's really loose. It does pop off quite a bit, but that is that. And then moving on over to the right hand side, this is practically just the smaller side that they did, which I think it's okay that they did that. You can see that they have a jumper plate there, which I think is really neat. You can see we have that there. And this is sort of like the mechanics gallery. So for example, you can just uh, put the bike there, which I will show um, that in a minute. But yeah, I think it's really neat that they've done that. You can see we have a coffee mug, we have a wrench, we have some more hooks again, and we have some more axle pins. So of course you can attach it to the other side. We have a light, which I think this is a really nice little station. The fact that you can just put your characters there and then the SOG can like be fixing their bikes or their motorcycles for a race so yeah that i think is another pretty cool section where we come down to somehow the most simple design but the most lethal design for this you can see that we have a little workbench again for some work tools to wrench or whatever you can put it from this guy put his um, tools there you can see we have some piping there we just got some nice detailing it looks pretty cool the workbench you have this rod which this does move that around which that is a chainsaw i believe or a blade which yeah i actually did um, drop mine on the instruction manual oh i sadly did that when i was younger very annoying on a few sets and there you can see that the idea is is that what you do if we zoom out well there we go uh, let's move the camera up. You can just simply just move that around, and yeah, that's literally it. I will sort of show you again that um, how it links in with the other feature. But yeah, that is what the other feature looks like. So now let's quickly take a look at the gate in the middle. So then taking a look at the main gate, you can see which this does piece it all together, and it all does connect with the play feature, which again, we'll take a look at that in a minute. You can see we have that one of the only masks there. We have these two lights. We have these pretty interesting just little elements there, and you can see we have these flags, which again, I think I mucked these flags up quite a bit. You see some dust, and they're completely not the best but i mean i was getting definitely better at st stickers in that point you can see we have those stickers there which are really reminiscent of the angry birds one so yeah you can see the door it doesn't actually sit perfectly level but that is just something that isn't really too noticeable we can see you have the ramp there we have these which i kind of feel like this is incomplete i really feel like lego was gonna add something but then kind of just decided not to but yeah there you can see that we have the back of this which looks really cool the jumper plates and yeah you can see that there is a part of a feature and there's of course these little parts at the bottom so if you're wondering what the feature is the idea is is that you can push this forward and when you push this forward this basically 
fires up this little red part, it, this technique, all this kind of like technique contraption, just to knock off the Moni, um, the Oni mask rather, sorry. So yeah, that is what it does. Now let's quickly take a look at the Spinjitsu slam element of the set, then we'll take a look at the whole feature of the whole. So then taking a look at the Spinjitsu slam Lloyd element of the set, which honestly, this I really don't, I kind of just wish it didn't include, but taking a look, you can see we have the handle, which looks pretty quite cool. You can see we have the cord there, which looks pretty interesting. Of course, this is the same one from Air Jitsu, which I really like Air Jitsu. That was a really nostalgic area for Ninjago for me. But basically, if you're wondering what you do, these are basically zip cords. You basically just pull it out and they spin. The idea is, is that if you do it a bit harder, they do spin out of control, which what we're going to do, we're going to load this back in and we're going to basically set it up with the rest of the set because this actually is a play feature with the rest of the set. But there you can see Lloyd, which I get like it could be gold because this is golden power, but I think a green definitely would have been much better. So here you can see that we have the whole core set up and basically what it is, the idea is, is that you're either meant to hit the spinjitsu with the little switches on the side or it's basically meant to do these parts on its own so yeah it's a really hard feature that honestly i've never had much luck i always say just angle it a little bit but yeah let's go so yeah it literally done nothing wow that's literally my point so you can see it's spinning there like that but yeah it's honestly really hard to get it to go so generally you've got to put it in backwards because then when it uh, rotates all the way around it's generally the other way around and oh, gosh honestly sorry i've not done this for a while so gotta get used to it again but let's do it again so we're meant to aim for the door Okay then, so basically that went all the way to where I filmed my hauls, but practically what happens is when you get it, the idea is that it spins, 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 and it spins on through into the door, and then it does that, and the idea is that it pushes that off, and then Zane can still the only mask of hatred i believe is what it is because yeah that is what it is i do believe so yeah honestly i'm not a fan of the play feature it just doesn't work to me honestly like it just doesn't i'm really not a fan of these i really like the um spin jitsu um air jitsu ones rather i thought they was fantastic but after that it kind of lost my interest like these i just don't really care for i don't just don't want to lie here it's honestly just no interest to me like yeah these honestly are kind of disappointing so then taking a look at the bike build of the set which honestly if you remember the scene it's so weird that they give you one because in the scene there's literally just like a whole race going on with the bike so i really don't understand that but there you can see the side of the bike honestly i think it looks really neat you've got the front of it here with the little um, arm there from the droids i think that's really cool and yeah i think this is a really neat little bike you can see what it looks like there with like the racer there the driver looks really neat i think it is a really good bike it's i really like how slimline and how quite thin it is because most bikes this day and age get quite chunky sized and they just look absolutely silly the scale just doesn't work but here i think it looks really well so yeah that is another nice little bit of the set so overall in my opinion i think this set is honestly a really good set i do like the set but for me my disappointment comes with this honestly i just don't care about it i really just can't get myself to care like why why should i it's not canon and i know i'd say that but i'm trying to get out of the habit of saying that but it's sort of an opinion that i've always had here but with this for me it's like why it's like ejitsu but worse ejitsu was fun like i'm pretty sure we can all agree ejitsu was so unique so different it was fun and then they started redoing it from here on out and it was kind of like why like there's always been gimmicky sets but not as bad like there was always nice little cheap ninjago sets and now they're all going like the same stage like yeah this honestly i think is the worst one and that just looks so bulky and just doesn't look that appealing really for like shelf or anything like this has been sitting in a drawer really since i got the set like i like the set but i don't like how the fact that it all relies on this play feature that hardly works you saw that and it literally traveled all the way over there so like it really just shows that it doesn't work properly though it's got some good force to it definitely but i just don't honestly see like the deal in it i just don't see it honestly i, I just don't see it like it's one of those that i really like the set but i think it's really let down by the play feature like imagine if they did if they took this out made it a bit cheaper and designed the set without this i think it would just be miles better so yeah what do you think leave your thoughts in the comment section down below i thank you all for watching this video and until the next video see you there bye for now